Hello, and welcome to the Nogama Village Mi'kmaq Language Program. In the previous series, we introduced a number of command words, verbs that indicate a person should perform a particular action. These include words like Owasi, slow down. Bisqua, come in, and ajumpa, go to bed. In this lesson, we will introduce a few more command words, but we will also show you how to direct these commands to either a singular or plural subject. For plurals, this may change depending on whether there are two subjects or more than two. Let's begin with a word we already are familiar with, bisqua. 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 If someone shows up at your home, use bisqua to greet them and invite them inside. But what if there are two people? In this case, we say bisquadic. Come in to two people. Bisquadic. Bisquadic. Come in for two people. Be squadic. Be squadic. Come in for two people. Be squadic. Be squadic. Be squadic. It may be, however, that you're throwing a party and suddenly there are three or more people at your door. To collectively invite them in, you would say, Be squidach. Come in to three or more people. Bisquidach. Bisquidach. Come in for three or more people. Bisquidach. Bisquidach. Come in for three or more people. Bisquidach. 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 Notice how the ending of the word changed. First, the long A was dropped, and then we added idach. Keep an eye out for this with other examples so you can recognize how many people are being indicated. Now, let's try another word we have already used, ajimpa. You may also encounter speakers who add an N at the start and switch the M for another N to get najimpa. This is due to RDV, Regional Dialectal Variation, something we often hear in English as well. To tell one person to go to bed, we say najinba, go to bed. Najinba, najinba, go to bed. Najinba, najinba, go to bed. Najinba, najinba, najinba. To tell two people, we say najimbadik. Go to bed. Najimbadik. Najimbadik. Go to bed. Najimbadik. Najimbadik. Go to bed. Najimbadik. 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 If you have three or more people that should be sent to bed, we would say Najimbah. Go to bed. Najimbah. Najinbah, go to bed. Najinbah, Najinbah, go to bed. Najinbah, Najinbah, Najinbah. As with the previous commands, bisqua, the dual form simply adds dik to the end. This time, however, to indicate three or more people, we only added a q to the end. There will be more variations as we move through the vocabulary, so be sure to read the supplements carefully. When in doubt, review the videos to hear the examples spoken. Next, let's introduce a new command word. We already learned how to invite someone into your home, so how do we tell them to leave? In this case, we'd say, do a, get out. Do a, do a, get out. Do a, do a, get out. Do a, do a, do a. The dual form of this command word is 
Duotic. Get out to two people. Duotic. Duotic. Two people get out. Duotic. Duotic. Two people get out. Finally, if you tell three or more people to get out, you would say, Duidach. Get out. Duidach. Get out. Duidach. Duidach. Get out. Duidach. 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 You can modify this command with words we've already learned, including nige, now, or even more emphatically with atsmanige, right now. So let's say, Duidach atsmanige. Get out right now to three or more people. Duidach atsmanige. Duidach atsmanige. Duidach atsmanige. Duidach atsmanige. Get out right now to three or more people. Let's look at another pair of opposite commands. Hamasi, stand up. Hamasi. And Basi, sit down. Basi. These are the singular forms. So let's move on to the plural forms of Hamasi first, and then practice the forms of Basi. To indicate to two people that they should stand up, we would say, Hamadik, stand up. Hamadik, Hamadik, stand up. Hamadik, Hamadik, stand up. Hamadik, Hamadik. And for three or more people, we would say, Hamidah, stand up. Hamidah. Hamida, stand up. Hamida, Hamida, stand up. Hamida, Hamida, Hamida. To tell two people to sit down changes the word notably, so listen carefully. Bemkobotic, sit down to two people. Bemkobotic, Bemkobotic. Sit down to two people. Bimkobotic. Bimkobotic. Sit down to two people. Bimkobotic. 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 For three or more people, we would say Bimkobidah. 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 Sit down to three or more people. Bimkobidah. Bimkobidach. Sit down to three or more people. Bimkobidach. 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 There are also command verbs that will indicate not only a subject, that is, the person or people you are speaking to, but also an object or a set of objects. This might include another person or a group of people, an item such as a book, and so on. These verbs, therefore, may have animate or inanimate forms, or a form that can be applied to both. One example is, Jaguadui. Bring it to me. Jaguadui. Jaguadui. Bring it to me. Jaguadui. Jaguadui. Bring it to me. Jaguadui. 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 This form is used to indicate to one person that you wish for them to bring you an object, be it animate or inanimate. To tell two or more people, we would say, Jaguadwik, bring it to me. Jaguadwik, Jaguadwik, bring it to me. Jaguadwik, Jaguadwik, bring it to me. Jaguadwik, Jaguadwik. Now, let's consider how we specify the command to be animate or inanimate. Repeat after me. Jaguar. Bring it animate. Jaguar. Jaguar. Bring it animate. Jaguar. Jaguar. Bring it animate. 
Jukwal, Jukwal, Jukwal. An example of this may be Jukwal Ntsis, bring my big brother. Jukwal Ntsis, Jukwal Ntsis, bring my big brother. Jukwal Ntsis, Jukwal Ntsis, bring my big brother. When speaking to two or more people, you would say, Jugwalug, bring it, animate. Jugwalug, Jugwalug, bring it, animate. Jugwalug, Jugwalug, bring it, animate. Jugwalug, 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 Jugwalug. The inanimate form for this command for a singular subject would be Jugwadu, bring it. Inanimate. Jugwadu, Jugwadu, bring it. Inanimate. Jugwadu, Jugwadu, bring it. Inanimate. Jugwadu, Jugwadu, Jugwadu. And for two or more people, you say Jugwadu, bring it. Jugwadu, Jugwadu, bring it. Jigwaduk, Jigwaduk, bring it. Jigwaduk, Jigwaduk, Jigwaduk. An example of this might be Jigwaduk Gubudi, bring the chair. You're saying this to two or more people. Jigwaduk Gubudi, Jigwaduk Gubudi, bring the chair, said to two or more people. Jaguaruk gubudi. Jaguaruk gubudi. Bring the chair, said to two or more people. Jaguaruk good booty. Jaguaruk good booty. Jaguaruk good booty. A similar verb to jaguarui, bring it, is iganumui. Give it to me. Repeat after me. Iganumui. Give it to me. Ignamui, Ignamui, give it to me. Ignamui, Ignamui, give it to me. When speaking to two or more people, we say Ignamuik, give it to me, to two or more people. Ignamuik, Ignamuik, give it to me, said to two or more people. You can also indicate that the person or people should give the object to someone else. When telling a single person to give something to another single person, you would say, Ignamu, give it to him or her. Ignamu, Ignamu, give it to him or her. Ignamu, Ignamu, give it to him or her. When telling multiple people to give an object to a single person, you would say, Ignamuk, give it to him or her. You're saying this to two or more people. Ignamuk, Ignamuk, give it to him or her, said to two or more people. Ignamuk, Ignamuk, give it to him or her, said to two or more people. These examples have all been used in a positive form. That is to say, we are telling someone to do something. A simple way to tell someone not to do something is to preface it with muk, don't. Going back to our last example, then we would say, muk ignamu, don't give it to him or her. Muk ignamu, muk ignamu, don't give it to him or her. Muk ignamu, muk ignamu, don't give it to him or her. And for multiple subjects, muk ignamuk, don't give it to them. Muk ignamuk, muk ignamuk, don't give it to them. Muk ignamuk, muk ignamuk, don't give it to them. Muk ignamuk. The supplement contains many other examples of command words that you can practice with and memorize. 
As you start to learn, try adding on modifiers such as ge, please, mok, don't, or even combining words with ach, and. Perhaps you might say, minahasi ach basi, hurry up and sit down. Keep practicing and when in doubt, seek out a fluent speaker or try some of the external resources listed in the supplement. Kesia wi, onu wi sultanage, velalioch ach nomodoxem.